Hello everyone, very good afternoon and welcome to Government Private Job Alerts. So students, we are here with our third series now, exam analysis of uh, 9th of April. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the technical ability questions. So we are going to make it the video short because uh, we have less time now. So all the questions will be discussed in detail. And as you know, this is the exam analysis. So we will do it in hurry. So for the students, if uh, those students who have given the exam and they feel that they have uh, done well in the exam so they will be qualified so they guys can go and uh, watch our interview videos also so now students let's start also and now those the students who are new to our channel or have not subscribed our channel subscribe the channel and press bell icon so that if there is any update so you would get it earlier so one more thing students those uh, who are also waiting for 3 pm uh, exam analysis so they guys go, can also subscribe our channel because we are going to provide you the 3 pm exam analysis also on this particular youtube channel so students uh, now coming to the question so as i told you we will be doing the questions in hurry because we have less time so you can see there uh, 9th of april 10 a.m slot your technical ability questions exam analysis so firstly we will be starting with the first question without wasting the time so uh, guys you can see there these are some of the questions which uh, i guess uh, they have uh, again uh, changes some of the pattern so you can see this is a bit lengthy question as you can see there because we have to check all of them so you can see x has y means x is the brother of y and x dollar y means x is the sister of y okay x percent y means x is the wife of y and x at the rate y means x is the you can check it there father of y so we have to tell m is the son-in-law of n so we there we want m is the son-in-law that means m should be positive that means m should be your uh, male and son-in-law of n that means n can be any and they both will be one generation gap will be there in both of them getting so now you can see there uh, let me rub now so directly you can do this question I mean uh, you have to directly go to the options and you have to verify them so firstly these type of questions i would recommend you start from the last you will get some good results from there so you can see uh, n at the rate p so there n at the rate p means n is the father of p n will be father that means n will be father of p okay after that p at the rate o means p is the father of o definitely so p is the father of o okay now o dollar m o dollar m here means uh, let me check where is o dollar dollar sign is there o dollar m is o is the sister of m that means o is the sister and we have to check n and m so for that we need only one generation gap but there they have three generation gap so this cannot be the answer now checking another n at the rate p means n is the father again the same pattern n is the father of p uh, you can check there at the rate n is the father so that means n will be positive n will be father and n will be father of p and n at the rate o means p will be father of o. so you can see there p will also be the sorry this is p dollar o there is dollar sorry p dollar o means p is the sister of o so p is the sister that means p is negative so no worries p is negative so p is the sister so you can see there p is the sister of o okay now o percent m o percent m means o is the wife of m so that means o is wife of m so there is m now so what we have to find we have to find the son-in-law so you can see there n's daughter's husband is the son-in-law that that means option c will be the correct so now coming to the next question a fruit vendor supplies 50 bananas to a restaurant in the morning and 45 bananas in the evening if cost price of banana per kg is 20 so definitely we are going to do it directly 50 kg in the morning and 45 kg in the evening that means total 95 kg he has supplied and the rate of 95 kg is 20 per kg so that means 95 into 20 so we can do it directly 19 in 90 into 2 that is your 1800 and 5 into 2 1900 directly your answer will be 1900 coming to the next question if the second half of the alphabet is written in the reverse order that means there is m and after m you will get z because m ke baad kya hota hai n aata hai n o p but we have reversed them that means z y x getting so now what they want then which letter will be eighth letter to the right of twelfth letter from left means jo aapka twelfth letter hoga left se so what will be the twelfth letter from left from there so obviously l will be the twelfth letter and now 
एट्थ लेटर ऑफ दिस मीन्स ट्वेल्थ लेटर के जो राइट में होगा एट्थ लेटर सो वी आर गोइंग दैट साइड सो फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ सो यू वट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट सो यू कैन सी डब्ल्यू वी एंड योर यू यू वी डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई जेड एंड देयर इज योर टी गेटिंग सो यू कैन सी देयर एट्थ नाइन्थ सॉरी दिस इज ट्वेल्थ लेटर नाउ फर्स्ट लेटर सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ फिफ्थ सिक्स सेवन एट्थ सो योर एट्थ लेटर विल बी योर टी ऑप्शन बी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कार्स मुकेश एंड दिनेश ओके दिस इज समथिंग जस्ट अ सेकेंड नेम्स आर इंटरचेंज सो जस्ट राइट इट ए बी एंड सी ओनली आफ्टर दैट इनिशियली दिस इज ए इनिशियली ए स्टार्टेड द वर्क एंड आफ्टर दैट बी एंड सी ज्वाइंड सो डिलीट दैम सो दिस इज योर सी दिस इज योर बी गेटिंग after that in how many day more days will it take to complete the work so what you have to do i have told you the short tricks for these types of question also so a is your 10 b is your 15 and c is your 12 getting so you have to directly take the lcm now so your lcm will be 60 and there they have done the six unit work four unit work and your five unit work getting so now what they said कि सिक्स्थ डे बी एंड सी केम दैट मींस ए हैज वर्क्ड फॉर द फाइव डेज सो फाइव डेज वन यूनिट फॉर वन डे दे आर वर्किंग सिक्स यूनिट दैट मींस फॉर फाइव डेज दे विल वर्क फॉर थर्टी यूनिट्स एंड नाउ वी हैव द लेफ्ट वर्क इज थर्टी यूनिट्स गेटिंग बिकॉज दिस इज सिक्सटी हमें सिक्सटी यूनिट काम करना है थर्टी ए हैज डन ऑलरेडी नाउ रिमेनिंग द थर्टी वर्क हु विल डू नाउ सी एंड ए एंड बी ज्वाइन हिम फॉर हाउ मेनी डेज विल इट टेक टू कम्प्लीट द वर्क सो ए एंड बी दैट मीन्स they have joined b and c have joined a that means 6 4 10 and 5 15 unit now they are going to do in a single day so for 15 unit so this will be your 2 that means for two more days they have to work so your answer will be d 2 and if they ask that how many days they have taken in total so that answer will be your 7 but they have asked only how many more days so after 5 days they have taken only 2 days there getting so your answer will be 2 Now coming to the next question, if the average of eleven results is seventy, okay. If the average of uh, this is only of first five is fifty, and last five is hundred. So you can see uh, average of eleven results is seventy. That means total uh, result is of seven seventy. Now the first five means first five result is fifty. So fifty they have uh, done. Mean uh, their average is fifty of five students. That means their marks will be two fifty, and the remaining five have hundred as the average. So that means five hundred. So five hundred and two hundred fifty. That is seven fifty, and it is seven seventy. That means the sixth member is having twenty marks. Getting so the answer will be your option B twenty. Now coming to the next question. A mother is four times as old as her daughter, so that means uh, take daughter x. So you should take mother as four x. Now six years back, that means six years back, x minus six is equals to. So the mother's age will also be decreased by six then. So four x minus six. Six years back, the age of her daughter will be five times. She was five times the age of her daughter. That means. That uh, daughter's five times of age is equals to mother's age. Getting so this is the equation: five x minus six is equals to four x minus six. So what you have to do, you have to solve it, and value of x you will find as twenty four. And after that, what you have to find now? This is not the percentage. You have to find the age of mother. So the age of mother will be twenty four into your twenty uh, four. So your age of mother will be twenty four into Four, so your uh, answer will be ninety six. Option B will be the correct answer. So now coming to the next question. So you can see there we have to find the median. So I already told you, and we have also taken many of the classes. So to find the median, what you have to do, you have to arrange them in uh, ascending order. And I guess they have already ascended. They have already arranged them in ascending order. So for that, what you have to do now, the average is thirty four. Okay. So you have to find the median. So for median, if the odd number is there, so n by two. n plus one by two is the median, or if there is an even number, then 
you have to take the uh, middle two terms and then you have to subtract by 2 so there we have uh, 13 terms so 13 plus 1 14 upon 2 is 7 so we have to just directly calculate the 7 term 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the 7th term 5x minus 1 is and the median is 34 that means 5x minus 1 is equals to 34 5x equals to 35 x will be your 7 the answer will be b option so this is a bit uh, good question so the question is 1.2 to power 3 plus 3.8 to power 3 plus 4.56 into x 4.56 into 15 so this is 4.56 into 15 so give uh, the answer in the comment section also so for your confirmation the answer will be 125 so you have to solve this question and you have to give this in the comment section so students uh, i guess this is uh, all about today's video we have solved all the questions and hurry because you have your exam so all the best and god bless you all